There you are. Ryoji. Hey. What's up? You're looking pretty good. I would have thought you've been working here for years. How may I help you, sir? Hi, I'd like to place an order. <laughs> Looks like you've got the routine down. Maybe they'll hire you full time. <laughs> let's be let's be lucky and hope they don't. Looks like you're doing all right. Uh, what's up? Oh, it's nothing really. You sure, man? You seem kind of down. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Uh, sure. Hey, manager says to take your break. What? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me, we got time. Are you sure about that? Yeah, they told me to take a break too. Okay. Come on, this is our chance to chill. And don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well, huh? I guess I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go grab them. Not such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. So, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei Kun. Yori? Are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Uh... Um... I don't wanna lie. <laughs> you should ask him. He should be the one to tell you. Yeah, I guess I should've, but... I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt mm -hmm. like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? <laughs> I mean, is that a bad thing? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry. I'm sure Iori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? Yeah. I am. I guess you could say that. <laughs> I know I'm huh. the one who asked, but... I feel a little awkward hearing that. <laughs> okay, why? I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before. But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. 
Seeing Junpei Kun like that had me worried about you as well. But I guess you're doing just fine. It's just. I don't like it. Seeing you. Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift. Ryoji left and I got back to work. Four days of internship done, I headed back to the door. Interesting. So this is what the interior looks like. Have you really not been into Wild Duck Burger? I mean, I get you're rich, but damn, it's through. It's smaller than I expected. Smaller? Well, technically, yes. But I did pass by once with Akihiko. That doesn't count. So, I understand that you don't eat with utensils here? Nope. We eat with our hands. My lack of knowledge on this subject is a serious problem. In all honesty, it's a good thing you're here. Is it actually profitable to sell these items at such low prices? You'd be surprised. It, but, you know, if it's cheap, people will buy it. I'd be interested to know the average cost per unit. Oh, sorry, I found myself lost in thought again. In truth, I didn't ask you here just to eat. I wanted to express my personal thanks to you. Right now, our strength and conviction are being tested to their limits. We've only made it this far because we've been blessed with each other's partnership. I know I've been asking a lot of you even more than the others. But I truly appreciate it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. Mitsuru seems to trust me. I feel like our relationship is grown. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize we were talking for so long. It would be rude to let the food grow cold. Shall we begin? Come, Mitsuru. Let me teach you the ways of fast food etiquette. Junpei! Hey, how you doing, Better man? Keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what'd you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Chidori's sketchbook? She was drawing you the entire time. It's probably what it's gonna be like. They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um. <laughs> Be strong. Strong men also cry, Junpei. <laughs> strong men uh, also no. cry. I gotta snap out of this. But it's just so hard. Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. What the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Portrait of Junpei san. Called it. Sorry. <laughs> Junpei. <laughs> it's like she's telling me to stop moping around. Junpei couldn't. Okay. I'm gonna fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but... Just know I'll be counting on you. And I will be counting on you. Blaze of life. Massive fire damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. 
Okay, so it's basically like his, you know, natural DOG. Besides the whole, you know, physical thing. Leaning more into the firepower. Fully restored user's HP. Oh, shit. I didn't read that last part. <laughs> That's crazy. Junpei. My friends are all smiling with tears in their eyes. I sense a strong bond with them. Ranks eight? Nine? I don't remember getting to eight. Interesting. So this takoyaki doesn't contain an entire octopus, but only a small portion. I mean, that does make sense. The entire creature would be far too large for a single person. <sighs> Sometimes my own ignorance truly astounds me. Truly. I'm learning a lot about you today. So? So it's filled with dice octopus. Interesting. Mm. There's a mild sourness combined with the chewy texture of the seafood. Quite flavorful. Hmm? Are there other ingredients mixed in? In any case, it's quite good. C'est très bon. That reminds me, Akihiko once mentioned this place. Hmm. Speaking of Akihiko, don't you think he's been acting differently lately? I can't place my finger on it, but I've known him for quite a long time. It feels like something's changed. Maybe he's just maturing. Oh, crap, what's the right answer here? Uh, are you happy? Of course I'm happy. <laughs> With all that we've been through, it can be difficult to get over what's happened in the past. But Akihiko is using his experiences to make himself stronger. I'm quite impressed by that. When I look at Akihiko, I can't help but reflect upon my own life. It's the most peculiar feeling. <laughs> I don't think I should say that. <laughs> uh, well... You know what? Fuck okay, it, I will. In love? No, it's not that. I figured. Is that how it looks to you? I didn't realize. I'm just saying, you guys have been close. You guys have known each other for a while. I'm sure people have shipped you. He's just a friend. Or should I say teammate? It's a bit hard to describe. In any case, that is the extent of our relationship. Makes sense. Girls and Aki aren't exactly things that I would say mix too well. Suru seems to have a lot on her mind. I feel like Rose has brand. Break three! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Sorry to subject you to my thoughtless rambling. Just forget I said anything. I'm rooting for you. Hmm? I'm not sure what you mean. I don't know what I mean either. Oh, welcome back. You're late. Ryoji-kun was just leaving. <laughs> Coming here a lot lately. Oh, hey there. Chilly out, huh? Hope you don't go catching a cold. That's right, I keep forgetting. It's almost December here. We're like super close to winter. You know, I stop by here pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Yeah, that is weird. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji. Was that Ryoji son? Stay away from him, he is dangerous. Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Kirijo senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He's chill, I guess. You gotta be calm. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji-kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. I mean, who wouldn't? But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei-kun. Well, 
No point in dwelling on the past, right? It won't change a damn thing. That's true. Ryoji's quite the bro Roji. Hmm? What's up, Aichan? I'm fine. It's just... I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine. So I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? Well, you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... You don't gotta worry about me, I guess. I'm like level 65. Understood. Plus I got so many stupid strong personas, it's, it's not even funny. You are very special to me. Aww. I can't explain why, but I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs, to be there for you always. Uh, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. What's going on with Igus? <sighs> Hello, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. Now then, about the new arrival from the other day. I'd like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinctive features, we may be able to locate her family. Also, I can't help but think that the Kirijo group is connected to Strega in some way. Considering this, I think it would be disrespectful to sweep her death under the rug. And of course, I'll take full responsibility. What? What did you just say? <laughs> Transmogrified. The body? <sighs> but judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... <sighs> All right. I'm sorry, but please keep this strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Right then. What is going on? Chidori's body transmogrified? I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens for now. But she's dead. But because if she's didn't wait, what? Oh yeah, got a message from Miyoji. Looks like he wasn't at school today. Maybe something hurt me up. I want to see you. Please come to the music room. Sorry for the short notice, but I need to see you right now. Ruji's acting weird. She head to the music room later. What's up, Ryoji? Hey. 
Thanks for coming. What happened? Well... How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. Thanks. It hasn't been that long since we met. It's barely been a month, I think. But I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. Just like this. That still wasn't the Velvet song, but I was impressed. I guess I wanted you to hear this song. When I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Puka. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Really, it was just... The hell? Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? What the hell is going on? Who can I let the music room and return to the dorm? The melody Ryoji played on the piano remained fresh in my mind. You know, there's not much time left for us to spend like this. In just a short while, we'll be looking back on these days with nostalgia. No, I'm probably just tired. It's nothing you need to worry about. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with a number of complicated issues. I bet. My inheritance, the future of the Kirijo group, and the expectations of everyone involved with both. It's possible I won't be going to college or starting a career. I may need to walk a different path. Say, what does marriage mean to you? Uh... Well, considering I'm not married, I would say it's about love. <laughs> That's a straightforward answer. I mean, it's what people do when they're, you know. However, I'm a Kirijo. 
I can't let my feelings tug me around when making these decisions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, takes careful consideration. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons. Damn, I'm sorry. But as time passed, they slowly grew to honestly love each other. Oh, well, that's good. I don't think they were unhappy with their lives. Love can take many different forms. Am I wrong about this? Mm, that's a tough one. If I could speak with my father one last time, I would ask him directly. Lends an ear to Mitsu. I feel like our relationship has grown. Looks like we ended up staying until closing time. Talking in the library. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go. For you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird. And there's no one around. Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You. You've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. Uh. I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are... my enemy. You're... Enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was a long time ago. Ten years to be exact? Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who am I? Dude has a serious case of uh, amnesia, apparently. Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you, your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Holy crap. Shadow? Really is a shadow? Okay, she's activating her gear mode. She's going all out. Yes, ten years ago, on the night when I was born, I stood on this very bridge. My sole purpose is to destroy shadows. That is the reason why I was given both a sense of self and a persona. I am the bearer of the 13th Arcana. Everyone knew me as death. But when I came into being, a part of my power was broken off and scattered. I wasn't at my full strength back then. I was incomplete. Even so, your power was still far too great. However, 
under the circumstances. It was only one suitable vessel. No. A human boy who had the misfortune of being nearby. Inside of him all this time. No way. And I unwittingly led him to discover my twelve missing pieces. And then. I get it. I understand now. I remember everything. I know exactly who and what I am. Don't be foolish, I guess. You can't win. I'm even stronger than before. The machine is created to serve a specific purpose. I will destroy you. That is my only reason for existing! It doesn't have to be that way, I guess. It's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh god, I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait, is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Igus right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location! The Moonlight Bridge! All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. I guess... I'm sorry. I... I remember everything. I remember who I am, who he is. Leader. I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? <sighs> ryoji -kun? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... I guess it's no longer moving. She appears to have stopped functioning. Oh no. What is going on? It's... all my fault. You did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. I want to know is how'd you get a human form? Was it because you were you spent so much time inside us this whole time? You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Appraiser, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Appraiser? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows, and about me. I can't... It's... 
all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. This maternal being... What is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him, and by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. Ten years. Ten whole years I had a shadow inside me. But how... And when his persona awakened, the twelve shadows did as well. Orpheus. All in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? And you were inside of him? Who the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's all my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! Oh, I guess he tired himself out too. All that power. It seems he fell unconscious. He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that. This is a huge revelation. Damn. What I just heard was shocking. Ryoji lived inside me for 10 years, waiting to make contact with the 12 shadows. Then does that mean the boy named Ferris was actually Ryoji all along? So many questions remain unanswered. However, Ryoji is unconscious. We took Ryoji and Aika's home, the air surrounding us frigid and somber. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right, I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> it looks like we're all here. Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. And so, literally death herself. Death is a female. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? 
It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? The apathy syndrome. Everyone seems to have arrived at the same conclusion. Every single human being will become like the lost, leading to the extinction of mankind and the end of the world. Jesus, this is huge. The fall. But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? It's hopeless. Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. How do you beat death? <laughs> you heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? Everyone is at a loss for words. It's inevitable. The entire human race will become members of the lost. George's existence confirms the impending extinction of mankind. When? When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all! Mix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? You can't win. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She... just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. Everyone is visibly distraught. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him. I guess you rubbed off on me, or I rubbed off on you. I guess we both rubbed off on each other. That sounds wrong. And because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nix's arrival is unavoidable now, but you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. No. Oh. Well, uh, well, we don't kill people here. That's Strega's thing. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me. And that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. Oh, okay, so we can't stop Nyx from coming, but we can at least live in ignorance until that time comes. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, It'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. So I have to be the one who does it. If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I don't want to put you through something like that. I don't want 
want my memories to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. December 31st, dude, that's... Uh. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Hey! Ryoji, wait! Stop, Jinpei-kun! I felt Ryoji-kun's presence vanish just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryoji-kun... I guess he'll be back. Ryoji's revelation was all too devastating. The world will soon perish. Mankind is destined for extinction. A difficult decision lies before me. Death is inevitable. The appraiser truly did deliver a death sentence to us all. I can't think clearly right now. How do you even choose the way you want to die? 